Welcome to Life as God Intended. Once again from Waikiki Beach in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's a beautiful place to visit and vacation and uh, to do a YouTube video to present to you. And in today's broadcast, we're going to be exploring two of the most fundamental concepts of faith understanding true salvation and what it means to be a Christian. Now you would think on a Christian channel like this that the average individual that is tuning in would understand these basic concepts. However, there is much confusion. There is much misunderstanding. It's my purpose in doing this is to bring clarification to these essential uh, concepts and provide a clear, practical understanding of what it truly means to be saved and then to live as a Christian. So let's start with the meaning of salvation. Salvation is more than just a one-time event and I would suggest that many Christians have seen it that way, unfortunately. Salvation's more than just a one-time event where you quote-unquote got saved. It's a continuous, dynamic process. It's not merely about getting saved at one point in time, but about entering into a spiritual union relationship with Jesus Christ that's very personal, that has a vital connection, and that's intimate with God a living Savior. So, once again, salvation is, isn't just a concept. It's the embodiment. Salvation's embodied in the person of Jesus Christ himself. You see, without him, there is no salvation. It's not just about being saved from something, but being saved into a relationship with Him. And this relationship transforms us from the inside out, making us a new creation. You see, our identity is no longer defined by our past, by our mistakes, or by our achievements, but by Christ's presence and his life within us. So to fully grasp salvation, we need to understand the process of redemption. The Bible uses various terms to describe different aspects of this process. Terms like adoption, justification, regeneration, and sanctification. Each of these reflect a different facet of Christ's work in redeeming us. It's very important you understand it that way. This is his work, not our work. For example, adoption means being placed as a son and heir in God's family. Justification is being made righteous by God by His righteous presence in us. Regeneration is spiritual rebirth that we experience. And sanctification is the ongoing process of being set apart for God's purposes. So as you can see, salvation is the most comprehensive of all these terms. As I've already mentioned, it's not just a static event, but rather a dynamic activity of the Savior working within you. Jesus doesn't just save us from going to hell. He saves us from dysfunctional humanity, from the misuse and abuse of Satan. And he restores us to functional humanity that God intended. His life, Christ's life, 
functioning in us, through us, as us. I love to remind people, if it's not as you, then what good is it? <laughs> There's another broadcast that I've done on that subject, if you want to look in the playlists. So what does it mean to be a Christian? Well, the term Christian originated in Antioch, where the disciples of Jesus were first called Christians, meaning Christ ones. I like that's a better description. You're a Christ one. Being a Christ one or Christian isn't just about adapting a label. It means that the Spirit of Christ lives within you. Romans 8, 9. If anyone have not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. And so he lives within you, and as a result, he wants to guide and shape your life. It's about having a deep, personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, allowing him to live through you. Now, as I've already kind of alluded to, unfortunately, many misunderstand what it means to be saved and what it means to be a Christian. Some see salvation as this one-time event, while others think being a Christian is just about following religious practices. But the Bible teaches us that salvation is a continuous journey of faith. And being a Christian means experiencing the outlived life of Christ. Christ daily, allowing his character to be the manifestations through the choices that you obviously make, but it's his character on display through you. And so salvation is not just about avoiding sin. It's about being filled with the resurrection life of Jesus Christ himself. How exciting. It's about living a life that expresses Christ's love and grace in everything we do. Understanding salvation and what it means to be a Christian is critical for anyone seeking to know and experience intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. By embracing these truths, we can move beyond misconceptions and live out our faith in a way that truly honors God. Let's live the life that God intended for us, one that allows for the spiritual outworking of Christ's life through us to his glory. Well, thank you for watching this broadcast today. And if you found this message helpful, please like, subscribe and share this video and i always love hearing from you in the comment section below and let's continue this journey together as we discover life and begin to live life as god intended <music>